Here's a look at the tail of the tape. Tonight's tail of the tape brought to you by Toyo Tires, all or nothing. Benitez is younger and longer, taller by an inch with a three inch reach advantage. Back in the octagon is our referee for this fight, Big John McCarthy. All right, Benito, Steven, you ready? Let's get it on. Our fight clock tonight, as always, brought to you by Toyo Tires, all or nothing. I mean, you see both guys. Steven came out right in his face. Benito returned with a flying knee. I mean, both these guys are fighters, and that's why I'm really excited about this fight. This is the one fight that I really was pumped for. Yeah, I agree with you. Steven in the red trunks there, Lopez in the green. We're gonna see who's gonna break, because I don't think either one of these guys is the kind that, that, that shows any, any, any sign of breaking. Close your hands when they're coming out. Fight. That new rule is important, man. We don't want to see somebody get a finger in the eye, attached retina or something like that. That's really brutal. Nice knee on the inside. Benito. Benito just dropping his hammer fists and strikes. He's looking at that. Okay, good job by Peterson in defending that, that top position and that transition that Benito is looking for. Looks like there could be a little blood on the left side of Peterson's face. Peterson is looking for that takedown. Yeah, when he does get the fight on the ground, really likes that arm bar. Yeah, he's got a good guillotine also. So if he's defending a takedown himself, you don't be afraid. Don't be surprised if you see him jump to a guard looking for that guillotine. Yeah, seven wins by submission for Peterson, who has Lopez up against the fence here in the first round. Lopez is doing a good job of defending his takedowns, and has a nice knee on the inside. Peterson needs to separate and go back to the striking department. Exactly, good job. It's almost like you've done this before, Eve. They listen to your coaching. It's like you're right there in the corner with him, bro. A little bit, but his face is a little busted up, and I think that happened from those knees up against the fence. And that's gonna give, give Benito some confidence. Good right hand by Benito. Tries that flying knee, gets caught, and look at the blood all over. Peterson's face. Yeah, but Peterson, yeah, he reminds me of, of a Nate Diaz type. Nick Diaz type, where it doesn't matter how bloody or beat up he is, he's still in the fight. A couple of jabs right there. Watch your Peterson head, really watch your head. uses that jab quite often to kind of feel out his range. Yeah, he's, he's got a good jab. And he doesn't seem concerned. I mean, beautiful flying knee, time that right. Peterson showing us a bear. But what Peterson needs to do is he needs to change the game up a bit. He can't keep coming in at these straight angles. He's got to throw some feints and use some angles to enter on a guy like Benito. Because Benito's using that range to his advantage and firing that flying knee. He's, not, he's thrown it three times and landed one or two of them. Good right hand. Peterson is a slight favorite in this one. And once Peterson gets to the inside, he can stay on the inside. With punches. Not with clinching and transitioning to take that. Good body kick by Benito. Oh, nice flash with the head kick. Another head kick yeah. and another. Watch your head. Peterson's tough because that second head kick was solid. Yeah, he's eating a lot of them. Benito doesn't seem to be tiring here much at all in the first round. No. And he must have improved his status since the last time I saw it. But we are still in the first. The good thing about Peterson's heart is that he can't see that blood on his face, so he doesn't know how bloody he is. He might be able to taste it, though. Oh, he's tasting it in his sinuses, I promise you that. Close your hand. doesn't land from Lopez, but these guys are very aggressive with the kicks here in the first round. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fun fight. Ah, sometimes I'm forgetting I'm supposed to be commentating. I'm just watching the door. Nice right hand. This is why this is the fight that I was excited about. There you go. Well, it's everything we thought it would be so far in the first round with about 36 seconds to go here. 
Now he's got that wrist control, but what Lopez is doing, Luis Lopez is doing the right thing by looking for that head position. Just creates some space. He doesn't want Peterson's head underneath his and put jamming him up against the fence. Nice knee by Lopez. Yeah, Peterson's trying to work those knees too. Peterson's working well from the outside, but Lopez has won this round, I believe. Oh, you see. The Golden Boy talking a little trash there at the end. Let's Sit listen down. into the corners now with our corner Water camp brought bucket. to you by Grunt Style. Grunt Style, this will Sit defend. Down. Let's Move. listen to He's Peterson's good. corner. Breathe, right. listen to me, okay? Right. He's tired, you understand? Yes, sir. He's freaking tired, all right? You need to back him up with a jet. You need to back him up with a jet. He's fine, this kid, this kid never dies. No, no. Water? Listen to me, listen to me, okay? The cuts aren't that bad. Listen to me. Back him up with your hands and then go to the body with the kicks. Stop backing straight up. Every time you back up, you get hit with that counter right hand, he's leaping in. You can't back up, you gotta go forward. Forget the fucking takedowns. Let's take a look at some of these, okay? some of these knees that Lopez was able to land. He's clinching that head, he's blocking off and landing clean knees to the face. Great job by Lopez in defending that takedown against the fence. And look at that counter right hand. As he comes in, right over the top. And here's that head kick. Slaps him with the first one, and then he throws one just a short time later. Head kick hard. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this inside. copyright work okay. is illegal and punishable under okay. law as the second round about you to ready? get underway. What a heck of a first round between Benito Lopez and Steven Peterson as we begin the second here in the Octagon here in the uh, Peterson has a, a large cut on the left side of his lip. I don't know how deep it is, but it's, it's, it's pretty long. Oh, a beautiful knee. But Peterson ate it and got to the takedown. Good it. job by Lopez getting right back to his feet, using that wall as a third leg to stand up. Good job. Peterson with those little kind of mini knees. I don't know if they're actually connecting or anything there, but he does get Lopez down for just a moment. Yeah, Lopez slipped on that on that knee that he threw, and Peterson moved out of the way in right timing. But he didn't jump on him and wasn't able to control that top position. Lopez doing a good job of getting back to his feet and defending these takedowns up against the fence. And be, having his back on the fence and causing damage, doing damage. He's winning rounds while he's in, in what I would call a guard when you're standing, with his back against the fence. Elbow from Peterson oh, tries to land goes, another Steven. knee. He's, he's able to create space to land those knees, and he's doing a really good job at that. Peterson has got to transition to a double, lock those hands, and just secure that takedown. Uh, this is the one thing you have to remember, just like one of our earlier fights. Lopez has only Watch been in the second chance, round twice sure in his side. pro career, so perhaps you're seeing him wear down just a little bit. And that could be what Peterson's strategy is, you know, to keep pushing his pace. Peterson believes that he has the best cardio and, and that he's going to push the pace on him. So if he can get this to the third round, maybe he wears him out and finishes it. Good job. He finishes this takedown. Let's see what he can do when he gets it to where he wants it. Good. He's got three minutes. That's a lot of time. We'll see how tired Lopez is, if he can fight to get back to his feet. But he's got to fight for that left underhook. Can't, can't let Peterson keep that underhook on that side. This is an entirely different Benito Lopez than we saw in the first round in terms of stamina. Well, didn't that happen earlier tonight? Yeah, it's the exact same thing we saw earlier. Yeah, a lot of guys get excited with this opportunity. I mean, you're fighting in front of the president and the, the matchmakers for the UFC. This is where every fighter that gets into mixed martial arts wants to be. And that, that excitement can, can drain that Let's energy work. out just the first round. Let's you go. can pour everything out in the first round. And that's not a good thing. A guy like Peterson, he's just gonna fight through everything and just keep struggling to win. Peterson has won seven out of his last eight, 15 and five in his professional MMA career. Good top position by Peterson. He's looking for he's looking for a head and arm choke. He's trying to set it up. But Lopez recognizes that he's keeping that elbow flat to the mat. Peterson should keep his head down. And just scoop back to that underhook on that side. He can push that arm across with his arms first, not necessarily with his head. He doesn't have to do that with his head like he's trying to do. 
And Lopez is trying to do what right now? Lopez needs to fight it's that left there. arm back to that underhook. That left arm being underneath Peterson's arms, it, I'm sorry, Peterson's arms being underneath his left arm is dangerous for him. He can control that arm better, and he risks a choke, and it's gonna be much harder for him to get up. Good pass by Peterson. Good pass. Now, he should look to work to a cross, to a crucifix position. Push that, pin that arm, and lace his leg over it so he can land some short elbows with that left arm. There he goes. There's an elbow there. He's looking for that crucifix again. He has a, he can set up a dart from this position also, but maybe he doesn't know, know the setup. With that arm high, he takes that left arm, put it over his head, and put it between his own thighs. Traps that arm, and he can walk around his head and set up a darsh choke. Just working those short elbows right on the left side of Lopez's face. Those are going to wear him down a little bit. Oh, yeah, those hurt, too. They add up. But he's got to do, he's just got to take, take control, do damage. When you start hurting a guy, that starts to also drain the tank. And if this fight goes into the third round, he wants that tank, tank as low as possible. Really working those elbows. Now, see, now it's a great time to land those elbows. Short elbows right there. Good job by Lopez getting that arm out of there. A couple of more elbows there as we are under 10 seconds to go here in the second round between Benito Lopez, who is on his back, and he made it through. That's Let's listen into the corners now with our corner cam brought to you by Grunt Style. Grunt Style, this will defend. Let's listen into Lopez's corner. Catch your breath. You need to suck it up. You need to suck it up. We got one round here to, to finish this, okay? You win this round, we win this fight. Don't let that motherfucker back in the fight. You hurt him every fucking looks, time. Looks like it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Looks like it's 1-1, one, one, so we got to go out there. Listen, on your feet, on your feet, you circle to your right, and you land that right hand from long. You throw the right hand, and then you rock back and throw the right uppercut, okay? All day, you can throw the right hand over his jab, too. You did a great job of bringing that one kick. You set it up with a couple jabs, you know, long jabs, and then bring that one kick. But you got to keep the space. You just the body I've been hitting. Yeah. Listen, yeah. you bite down and you fucking win this round. You bite down. Don't well, one round from getting this fucking oh, contract. Look, look, look. Jab, off the track jab, and bring that one All right, kick. you heard him. You one round and you get that you contract. Keep... Snoop Dogg and Uriah Faber calling the fight as well and a unique alternative audio and visual experience. You can just switch over to Snoopcast in your browser or app. Go to live events in the UFC Fight Pass and select Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series Snoopcast. How about a little taste right now? Let's listen Ready? in. Let's get up. Right after this, man. Let's go. It's the, the final round right here. It's, it's the one final more. round. We got a one-on-one one one. fight. Now who wants to fight? Championship round right here. Who won't take that damn contract? You, sloppy, sloppy, but aggressive style from Steven Peterson. Steven Peterson is he's a going forward. He's a dog. Benito's got to dig deep here and get this last round if he wants this contract. He yeah. said 11 years in the making. We've got to see it happen. Yeah, Steven Peterson is a straight dog. That's what you call a dog. Just just he's beat up and still fight and going forward and trying to steal this fight. Benito did a good job of sending him over to one leg. It's always better to have one leg controlled rather than two. Mm -hmm. and right now he can hit offense when he's doing more. Like he's reaching over for a Peterson, a, a jiu-jitsu move on the back end. Looks like they both run out of gas right now. They got to stop by the gas but station to get a little heart. bit. Yeah, heart, but running out of gas. Yes, it is. Running out of fumes. <laughs> running out of fumes. The nearest gas station is 2.5 miles away. We saw the corners, they get that distance, and now this yeah. is back in Benito's road. Let's see if yeah. he can keep that, yeah. that distance squad. in control. Yeah, squad, there you go. He's got to throw short, squad. accurate punch, or strong, long, accurate punches and keep him in distance. But he got to put some power with those punches because he ain't knocking them out. He's knocking them back, but he ain't knocking them out. We've seen before as Benito land short knees and short kicks to the face. He has done damage, but it hasn't put him out yet. So wow. this third round, he's got to keep this distance and keep firing with with a, a onslaught of offense without getting closed on. Yeah, because I want to sing a lullaby, and I can't sing oh, one if oh, you don't oh. knock him out. Nice I'm offense. To sing a lullaby. Now we're seeing these guys dig deep. Both these guys are digging deep. They both want this contract. Yeah. There was a little sample. That was Uriah and Snoop as these two exchanging blows here in the third round. Basically, it's going to be winner take all, right? Winner of this round should take it. Yeah, Lopez is dancing on the outside, using that jab, keeping, keeping that range, using that range to his advantage. Well, as we see often here in the Contender Series, both fighters really wearing down, but as, as Snoop and Uriah said, both showing a lot of heart, too. They are showing a lot of heart, but Lo this is Lopez's world. He wants to be in the striking department, and he's, he's not taking advantage of it. This is not how you're going to get a contract. This is a great fight. 
but he's really got to go after him. He has to try to finish. That right hand is what he needs to do. That's exactly what he needs. He's got to put combinations together. He's not gonna. He's not gonna win himself a contract with Jones. There's a no, nice right knee. There might win a contract with that. Oh, and he hurt him. Peterson was hurt. He let him off the hook. by two rights. That's the, that's the thing about a guy like Peterson. You hurt him, and you don't really know. He, he is eating a lot of those kicks. Look at him. He just comes forward. They call him Ocho. They might want to call him Bull because he does just keep coming forward, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He just walks through stuff. Look at him. Looks like the Walking Dead is back. Lopez Big has not right been to the third round since 2014. You can see him wearing down, but you can see both fighters wearing down. And we are now under two minutes to go in this fight. It is all on the line here in the third round. Yeah, Peterson, I wish Peterson would have worked from the outside and exploded on a takedown, because what Lopez is doing is he's, he's, when he sits down on those punches, if Peterson can just trick him into getting into an exchange, he has a better chance of getting the takedown out in the open than up against the fence. He hasn't scored but one takedown up against the fence all night. Might have a better chance of impressing Dana White, too. So far, this has easily been the fight of the night. He's got to get his head out from underneath. When, when you're in that position, you don't want your head on their belly. You want your head up like you're listening to their heart. That way you have better control, their body's straight, and it's easier to topple them over. When he's leaning forward and you're trying to dump him backwards, you're, you're trying to take too much weight to the backside. There's too much weight forward with his head covering yours. 45 seconds to go now as Peterson lands a couple and then Lopez gets a strike in his own. He's getting him up, but his hips are too far away and he can't control the finish. And that's spending a lot of energy. Yeah, both of them are. They're going to clinch here. They're going to be worn out when this is over. For sure. 18 seconds to go here in the third round between the Golden Boy and Ocho. Peterson. Lopez. Both of them trying to get that strong finish, knowing it's all on the line here. Heck of a fight between the Golden Boy, Benito Lopez. Look, Dana White on his feet. That was a great fight. That was a whole lot of fun to watch, and that's why I was I was excited about that fight. You can see the fans appreciate it. There's a look at Benito. Yeah, that fight comes down to the third round. I think it's close, and Benito may have gotten the third round, but let's take a look at this fight. Lopez with that counter right hand right over the top. Beautiful, beautiful right hand, and then here's that flashing kick. And then the second round, we saw Peterson take, take, take control of the fight. He got to his takedown, and, and he kept this takedown. He was able to advance position and did a good job. Lopez with the flying knee, but Peterson just kept coming forward, doing damage. And here's Peterson with a nice uppercut on the inside. Great job by both these guys going out there, laying it all on the line. Everything that has been left in the octagon. That was one of the better fights that we've seen here in the Contender Series. Especially one that went the distance. Every minute of that fight was entertaining. Very impressive from both Benito Lopez and Steven Peters. That's Steven Peterson's girlfriend, Audra Lambert, and she's sitting there. She's real supportive of him. She's hoping that he gets this contract. I'm very curious to see who this decision is going to go to. Benito Lopez has never lost in his career. This is a close fight. Steven Peterson coming in, having won seven of his last eight. Both of these guys absolutely relentless. Yeah, yeah, this fight came down to the third round. I mean, it was obvious in the first round that Lopez won. Second round was all Peterson. That third round, man, we, we have to see what the judges were looking for. Because that third round was close. Both guys wanted it. You could see it. Well, and what I loved is that they were brawling until the very end. They were up there against the fence for a minute. They realized there was 20 seconds left. 
They took it to the end. Look at that. That's respect, man. You know, you can just hang out and talk to the guy that you, you I mean. These guys are bleeding and bloody because of each other. They're going to be feeling this for a couple of days. But look at that. That's all love. The sport is, the sport is a beautiful thing. Lopez, of course, trains with our own Uriah Faber at Team Alpha Male from Oroville in Northern California, the city of gold. That's how he got his nickname, Golden Boy. Morisenko is in the octagon. She's going to tell us who wins this one. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this bout 29-28 Lopez, 29-28 Peterson, and for your winner, by split decision, Benito Lopez. <laughs> Wow. You surprised? I hope you guys I'm home. not surprised. It was a tough one to call. But if I had to, if I had to pick, you put a gun to my head and tell me, Eve, pick on I'm gonna, please don't kill me. I have a wife and kids. I have kids. But um I yeah, I would have picked um Benito Lopez in that one. 